So to export in Lightroom, uh, if we selected a picture, a photo, as such, we go down, make sure it's under library mode, which is at the top, and then you press export where the arrow is. That will come up with a pop-up box. And then what you want to do here is you want to uh, create a few different presets so that in the future, um, all you have to do is just click on these presets here and you'll get the result that you want to get. Okay? Mm -hmm. So one of the most common one is web size, okay, which is great for, um, it's basically a small image that is optimized for viewing photos and images um, on the web or through emails or through the computer. Uh, it's not good for printing because the resolution is not as high. So. If you want to set a, a web size a preset, what you probably want to do is um, first get your details here correct. So before adding a new um, preset here, what we'll do is we'll set all your parameters. Okay, so first of all, export location. So export location is where you want the files to end up going, right? So usually, you know, there is a, if you have a specific workflow where you, you want to have all your files exported to a certain area on your hard disk or on a, a, a external hard drive, then you can set it here. See, you can go to desktop, uh, document folder, or, or a specific folder. Okay, but what we normally use is choose folder later. So this is very flexible because what happens is um, when you are about to export, then you can sort of decide where you want to place it. Okay, and then you can basically create a folder on the desktop or somewhere on your hard disk or external hard disk. Totally up to you. So you have the choice to do that. Mm. So I would normally do that I will set that there um, then there'll be the next one is you know the existing files what do you do with the existing files so we click on this drop box and you can see there is um, you can you know whether you want to overwrite without warning or you want to choose a, a new name for the exported files or you want to skip so you don't, you know, like, so this is, um, I usually leave it as ask what to do as well. So, so then it's uh, flexible. Then the next bit is going to the rena file renaming. Okay, so file renaming re means that, you know, if you want to change the name of the files. Mm. And this is very handy for um, cataloging in the future so like say for example if you if done an event you you might want to call you might want to rename the file um you know uh, okay so so okay this is the, the the original thing would be just the file name which is that right from your camera mm -hmm. so if you want to rename your file say for example you've done an event and you want to rename it you go to uh file name and then you just go edit here now this is going to be the file name and then you can add stuff into the front like for example i would just add, add a sequence yep sequence which means like it's going to go zero one zero two zero three so at least oh, it's all in yeah, order yeah, yeah. and then the second yeah. bit is the including the the original file name i mean you can include that or you can exclude that if you don't want to so but it's good to have web, the web size or yeah yeah, no, no. Well, the file name is the actual file name that you, that's from the camera. So you usually include that as well. And one other bit you want to include is a custom text. So I'll insert a custom text here. So custom text means 
you can write whatever it is like say uh first birthday uh uh you know like amy's first birthday okay mm. then you got the file name here and it gives you the option to add more stuff like you can add in the date if you want to or uh you know the month or, <clears throat> or anything so if you, you look around here you can add like the year month date or the year month date date so different different arrangement and stuff um but you know i I'm, sometimes i add a date sometimes i don't so it depends but this is how you set it up at the start so it really depends on how you want to how your files to be organized in your system mm -hmm. okay so but I, what i normally do i would just have a, a sequence have a custom name and the file name and that's it i don't want the I don't want the file to be too long because you can see up here, right? Up here, this is how it's going to look like. 001, untitled, and this is going to be what uh, depends on what you write and then the file name, mm -hmm. then JPEG. Okay? So the file name is JPEG? Well, no, the file name is here. This whole thing here. Yeah, but that file name... Yeah, that's the file. The file name is that D T P O, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, which yeah. is which, which is from the camera. Yeah, that's the original stuff. So I'll I'll put that done. So now, if I change it to say, um, this person's name is uh, Chi. Chi's family. All right. So Chi's family. Okay, so can you see how his name is now part of the file? Mm. So that's the 001. And then you've got family, cheese family, and the actual file name. So that is sort of like, um, that's the that's how the, all the files are going to be called. Yeah, but because it's web size, wouldn't you put web? You can uh, you can do that as well. So oh. so so what you do is you 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 know obviously if it's web then you can just put there web or w or something you know what, what, whatever that you wanna whatever you wanna put in you know but remember to try and not keep it too long. So that's done. So the next bit is the file settings, which means the size. Mm. Okay, so obviously it's gonna be JPEG, but if you could. Put this drop down you can see you can change it to photoshop tiff png original or whatever all right but so keep it a J, jpeg um would you pick original for raw when you're exporting it as yeah, well? yeah, yeah 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 so original would be raw um and then what you want to do next is you want to uh reduce the quality so with jpeg you know you probably want to not make the quality too high because uh, you don't need such amount of uh, details. I'll probably put about like say, you know, say, I don't know, like even 50% is pretty good for web size. Oh, really? Yep. Then when you go to the next bit is image sizing. So image sizing, uh, you know, if you're doing full rest, you don't, don't worry about that. But then if you're going to keep it at web size, um, you want to change the size as well. So you want to uh, click on that, resize mm. to fit, and the long edge, which means the longest bit. Um, give me a second. So the long edge, I will change it to, see this is all the settings that you need to to, to do in your, on your um, web size, uh, phone. So web size, 1000 pixel is, is quite, enough mm. you can go 1200 even make it big, bigger or if you want to make it you know the biggest website you know go maybe 2000 so but 1000 is good enough you know for someone to have a look good look at the photos because mm. um, it's just that some companies may say oh can you do it in websites but we want it to be um, you know this long roughly how many pixel then that's where you have to change that yeah. but just for normal websites that 1000 is, is fine enough okay and then resolution 
you need to change that as well to normal web resolution is 72 but you know you can always be generous and just put 100 so 100 resolution so this is pixels per inch mm. this means how many actual pixels in one inch so obviously the more the better but web size you only need about 72 yeah. okay so that's done Right, so then this bit here, um, you can also choose to have that sharpened for, you know, um, for the screen for people to have a look, and you can include uh, include your copyright, which is which will watermark. Uh, no, this is not watermark. This is copyright. So it's in within your file itself. It will, you know, once you've set that in your camera, you know how you set. You can set your copyright in your camera, so every shot that you've is taken will have your names and details within the file itself. Oh, really? I'll show you it later. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, so have that on because you know obviously you want to make sure that people know that it's you that's taken the photo. Um, and the last bit, and not the last bit, the last bit is watermarking. So watermarking is where you can have the option to put it on or or not put it on mm -hmm. so obviously you know with web size depends on the situation but you know usually I would put it on if it's not paid yet and then I'll, I'll click on this and you know you can edit your watermark so when you go to edit it will come out and then you can put in your name or something and you can change the Okay, so you can either put in your name or you can choose a JPEG image or a logo or something where you can just choose and then you obviously pick something. I'll, I'll just do an example so you can have a, have a quick browse. Okay, so if, say for example, if I choose um, the desktop uh, for work. Okay, now. Okay, I'll just go back to, I'll just choose this for example, right? This is just an example, that's my watermark. Whichever goes, so that, that image is going to be my watermark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, and then obviously with watermark <clears throat> you can change the opacity, you know, how, how bright it is and stuff, or the size, you know, so yeah, you yeah. can even, so, alright, so that's just an example, alright. So if we had go back to text, which I normally do anyway. Um, that's how you're gonna have it in the text mode. <clears throat> Obviously, increase the proportion. Okay, that once you're happy with that, you can write whatever you want. Um, obviously, here. Mm. Then you can change it into different angles as well, like up to the center or the middle. If you really want to protect it, you go to the side or whatever. Then save. Then it will ask you what kind of presets would you want to save this watermark as. So I would say uh, this would be a DC medium medium size uh, bottom right. So in the future, I can I know what I'm choosing. So I press that create. So look in the future, if I want to pick a watermark, I can have different watermark options. Oh. See, I can choose like do a proof only. So it's like a pre DC. preset within yeah. the preset. Yep, yep. So this is a preset where I can just, every time I send out something, it depends on what I'm sending out, I can choose the different watermark options. Mm. All right. Cool. Then once that's done, uh, you go to the post processing uh, part, and uh, yeah, this is what you want to happen after the whole process is done you know whether you want to show that in the finder you want to don't worry about it. this is not important all right so this is like what you want to do after and then I'll just press export okay so when I press export um, it will ask me now okay where do I want to save this yeah okay so I'll probably go to all right I'll go to the desktop and then I'll probably make a folder call um, tests one test one and create right and then open so that's exporting it now see 
So once that's exported, it's basically uh, okay. It's on the desktop now. Okay, so if I go to the desktop, desktop, and I go to test one, see, it's there, and the size is only eighty-two kilobyte, which is really small, which is what you want anyway. And then you can just have a look, quick look, and that's it. That's your watermark. Uh, web size and it's really like a uh, small size so you can send heaps <laughs> you know what I mean but if you obviously zoom in you can see that you know it's the quality is not really good but who cares this is just a web size you know like see when you zoom out people are not going to zoom in that close uh, it's fine you know on the, on the on the computer yeah so that's how you set it up and once that's <clears> done <throat> Yeah, you got that there. If you go to export again in the future, you know, this is all, this will be default as how you've just set it up just then. So if you want to save that, you just put add, and then you just say, uh, name the preset, web size uh, with DC watermark. Okay, so that you can call it whatever you want, just for your convenience, all right? Then you just create. Mm. Okay, so that now is safe as that. So if you go to a different preset here, see? It, it will come up with a different, whatever presets that you set. So like, now if I go to web size, that is exactly the, 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 the setting that I I've set before. Do you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Mm -hmm. So you can do like a whole bunch of different presets depending on what you want to provide for your customer. Like you can do a full resolution one. Um, so uh, for example, now if, if I want to do a full resolution one, um, I'll go, okay, I'll do the same thing. You know, I'll just I'll put the name, I'll put a custom name here. And then I will, uh, you know, I will go to, yeah. So this bit here, don't have to worry about this bit. So, but the, I will go like 100% and JPEG. And then I'll, I'll make sure that, don't worry about this bit here. You don't have to resize this. But make sure the resolution is 300. Mm -hmm. And include copyright. And then that's it. So this is, this would be my full resolution presets. Okay, so um, yeah, that's how you do it.